The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. You guys ready? Oh, okay. And introducing the challenger from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. You know, nobody makes an entrance quite like the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Missing nearly four years with a severe back injury. Some doubted we would ever see Michaels in WWE again. Yeah, here's the thing, Corey. After returning, some say Shawn Michaels is better now than he's ever been. Certainly a hard point to argue. One of the greatest of all time, Mr. WrestleMania. Things are about to get good. And introducing the champion from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Ben Juan. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. As far as title defenses go, this is about as big as it gets. He needs to be on his game tonight. Wrecking the shoulder. Close line. Off with their head. 
Vicious right forearm. Heading back to the ring. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to see what happens. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean part blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So, be creative. there heads out of the ring what's next <laughs> oh my god look at this they're yeah. setting them up oh, oh, suplex. even in every superstar for themselves situation an alliance like that can be key big forearm a blow to the back of the neck the challenger eating up some damage reversal from the game position. Oh, absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. Face first into the chair. He gets back into the ring. Just taunting him with the chair now. Aiming to injure for sure. That's the flamboyancy of the heart break kid for you. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Going for a pin for the championship. Running interference. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. The champ getting put on the back foot here. into the ring. Square impact across the shoulder. And Triple H well scouted. The showstopper hard to see the energy in the house. Oh, he's a one and on the Harley race. Up and oh, knee right to the spot. Play. Put in a position now. Lands face first. And it looks like HBK might be bleeding now. Oh, he got the close line. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Set him up for the the champion into the cover. And he breaks the count quickly. It'll take more than that to hold him down. He's back into the ring. Oh, what a windup. Future perfect drop kick. And finds a counter. Kick to the gun. Oh, beautiful. Time to play the game. Good. 
tough position to be caught in here. He returns to the ring. Some attitude. 
This kid is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Setting up for something here. Well, this is bad, guys. Triple H is starting to gush out blood. the barricade and he slides him back to the mat hooked up oh, shit breaker carrying off right by our announce table he went right into that turnbuckle intimidation part of what makes triple h the cerebral assassin and he goes into the ring Yeah. Hey, let's 
Champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Two. Strong kick out of two from the champion. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the show in What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. to yet another attack. Process all the action that we saw there in the triple threat match. This recap should help. Here is your winner, and still world heavyweight champion, Chris Ben Juan. What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard hitting triple threat. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. the WWE Universe finally able to look into the eyes of fear itself. You know, for years, WWE fans wondered what was under the mask. Now they probably regret even asking. 
What was under the mask? Pure evil in the eyes of the big red machine. Oh! And it's flame hot. Gentlemen, I think a fight's about to break out. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. If he is not prepared heading into this match, I guarantee you he's going to be the subject of unspeakable horrors courtesy of Kane. Introducing the challenger from the pits of hell. Weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion, Chris Ben Wan. The past doesn't matter. Here's where it counts. Here is where it's settled. The prize is on the line. And we can already see just how focused he is in this one, how prepared and ready he is to take on this challenge. And sizing him up across the ring is the big red monster, Kane. Mark my words, Kane is looking for his opponent's soul here tonight. I don't expect this brother of destruction to be anything less than a laborious opponent here tonight. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his gameplay. In the ring against the big red monster. How does one match up to the physical dominance of Kane? Cover! Two count just after two. Close call. That was almost lights out. He's back into the ring. Looking wobbly in the corner. Close line in the corner. with the leg drop. Look at this, just stomp after stomp after stomp. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Power slam. Up the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? From the top. He paid for that one. Oh man, big time. Big punch finds its mark. Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. There's no... He better think of a quick cap. Wait a minute. There it is. That's a counter with style. Oh, close line. From 
a three count. Just the slightest bit of hesitation in the cover could have been all the difference there. Here's the pin title on the line. And the champ only gets a count of one. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Followed up by another to the chest. He has a task at hand but prefers to be showboating right now. Just check out the face of Kane after that. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. The challenger is not in a great place. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here.
kick. Perfect drop kick. Oh! Man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, oh stop to the tummy. Tummy? And that was a well-targeted attack. We're reaching a point where these superstars must be, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top rope. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Champ with a media kick out there. I can't believe the ref didn't even get the one. So hopefully, this will be a short trip outside. And he gets set back into the ring. Superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Ben Wan. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you've got to be on your toes at all times.